Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the Two Kingdom classification system. So this is a type of classification system which was put forward by scientist Linnaeus. We know Linnaeus is also known as the father of taxonomy. Now according to Linnaeus and in this Two Kingdom system of classification, Linnaeus classified organisms into two groups. First, the plants and second, the animals. Now this, this two classification was mostly done because of the presence or absence of cell wall. So this was the major characteristic which was considered by Linnaeus in order to differentiate between these two groups. Now let us look into detail what are the different characteristics Linnaeus majorly looked into. So we have talked about these two groups which was uh, done in this two kingdom system of classification plants and animals. Now in case of plants there is presence of cell wall. But in case of animals, the cell wall is absent. In case of plants, it showed the presence of inorganic crystals inside the cells. But in animals, the inorganic crystals were not found inside the cells. Now in plants, there is a, there is a presence of large central vacuole. But in case of animals, these central vacuoles were absent. In plants, very importantly, sense organs, excretory organs and nervous system were absent. And in case of animals, they have got uh, sensory organs, excretory organs and also importantly the nervous system. In plants, they have got the ability to manufacture food because of the presence of chlorophyll. But animals cannot manufacture food uh, on their own because of the absence of chlorophyll. In addition to that, the stored food in case of plants is starch. But in case of animals, food is stored in the form of glycogen. Now let us look into some of the objections of the two kingdom system of classification. First of all, the first form organisms were neither plants nor animals. We know that the first organisms which has been estimated, so they cannot be considered in plant group or animal group. They are somewhat, uh, they have somewhat similar characteristics which have there, which are there present in both plants and animals. So they cannot be considered in a single group like plants or animals. Now, fungi which is uh, very much different from both plants and animals, fungi was considered in the group of plants which was incorrect. Now lichens, these are a peculiar group because they are not a single organism. This is a group which is formed by the symbiotic association between a fun fun fungi and an algae. Now at lower levels of organization, the difference between the plants and animals disappear. That is, at lower levels, there are no major differences between plants and animals. Most importantly, prokaryotes, as we know, which do not have proper nucleus or true nucleus, were considered, were not considered separately. Hence, so this is a very big uh, disadvantage of this two kingdom classification. So in this video, we have talked about the two kingdom system of classification. We have seen how Linnaeus tried to classify into two groups like plants and animals. What were the characteristics he considered while classifying into two groups, animals and plants. We have also talked about the objections which were raised for the two kingdom system of classification. I hope you have understood and enjoyed this video. Thank you.